I know you've heard that expression, every cloud has a silver lining. And that's kind of nice, but your cloud can have a platinum lining encrusted with diamonds if you know how to do that. You see, we're all told at a very early age, you can't have it all. Something's got to give. If you have a great career, the price you'll pay will be your relationship. If you have a great relationship, the price you'll pay is your career. If you can ever manage to have a wonderful relationship and a wonderful career, then your health is going to suffer. I heard from a very early age, you can't have it all. No one gets to have it all. Something's got to give. There's a movie called that, Something's Got to Give. And even if you can have it all, you can't have it all for very long. You can't have it all all the time. And you pay a price for having it all. And you know what? That's not true. If I'd known then what I know now, I would have had it all 20 years earlier. I have an amazing marriage a wonderful career that I love so much, great relationships with my child and stepchildren, love in my life, health, wealth. And my husband and I often say, wow, if only we'd met each other 20 years earlier, but 20 years earlier I had this belief, well, I'm a career woman and I've got this really great career and I just can't have a great relationship. And that wasn't true. So I want you to have everything. You really can have it all and you can have it all, all at the same time. Imagine this, imagine you were having a baby and someone said, well, what do you want? Do you want a pretty one? Do you want a smart one? Do you want a happy one? Do you want a kind one? Do you want a good one? You go, well, I want my baby to be everything. When I was pregnant, I wanted my daughter to be beautiful and smart and kind and have a sunny nature, a sunny disposition. And I would think those things for all the time. I never thought, well, she can't be both. It's not right to be beautiful and smart. You can't be smart and happy. You can't be smart and content. And most little kids think they are beautiful, gorgeous, funny, witty, intelligent, compelling, and worthy. And then we start to chip away at that. So first of all, go back and imagine if you were having a child, what would you wish for them? And your parents probably wish the same thing for you. And it's never too late to go back and reactivate that ability to have everything. My daughter was telling me one day that she wanted to marry a prince and live in a castle. And she was telling me what she wanted for Father Christmas. I said to her, darling, that's a lot of money because she wanted a horse and a swimming pool. She looked at me with such pity and went, Mummy, Father Christmas makes those things. The elves make them. You don't buy them. You can have whatever you want. And I loved that in her. When she was very little, she had a belief she could have whatever she wanted. She even told me, Mummy, if you put plastic into the wall, the wall gives you all the money you need because that's what she saw. She lived very much in a world of Disneyland and princesses and makes no difference who you are when you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. And she believed that. And you know, we all start off believing that and you can get that back. Dream big. Make big, massive goals. Don't dream. Some people say to me, oh, you know, I'm such a manifester. I can manifest parking spaces. I'm like, that's great. Manifest something massive then. Oh, I had to have a meeting. I was dreading it and my boss canceled it. I, I manifested that. That's amazing. Take it further. Don't stop at parking spaces and having coins for the meter or finding a meter with time on it, go way further. Dream big, have big goals. The way you feel about everything is down to the words you make in your head and the pictures you make in your head. Your words shape your reality. If you don't like your reality, changing your words will change everything. You can change fast, fast, change is really possible. You can go from fear to excitement. 
nervousness to calmness, dread to joy. You can go from worry to calm. You can go from, I can't remember a thing, to I have a phenomenal memory. I'm going to mess this up. It's going to be amazing. Who's going to love me? I am so lovable. If I look at a cake, I gain a pound. I have a super fast, powerful metabolic rate. Instant change really is possible in the way you feel, in the way you act, in the way you react. You can change your thoughts. It changes your reality. When you change your thoughts about abundance, you can have everything. Abundance means a lot of everything all the time. You really can have it all and you really can have it all all the time, whatever is your heart's desire. Wealth, health, joy, love, peace, job satisfaction, feeling good about yourself, having high confidence, having high self-esteem, loving your life, being in love with life, having a great career and a great relationship and a great body and great health. You can have everything you really can have it all, all at the same time. You just have to know how. I didn't know how in my 20s. I didn't know how in my 30s. When I was in my 20s, I was kicked out of college. When I was 30, I was a single parent. But now, I have love, health, joy. Every day I wake up and think, I love my life. And here's one other thing. I've worked with many, many millionaires and billionaires, and I've seen people who have it all. And there are three types. One type have it all and go, this is so great, I'm so lucky, let me share my luck, let me share my joy. And the second group have a feeling, well, yeah, I've got it all, but I'm really worried it's gonna run out, and they hold on to everything so tightly. They live in poverty. What if this all ends? Why? What if? I, I, it doesn't last. I see that a lot with movie stars and rock stars who worry that, yeah, I'm at the top, but someone's gonna pull the rug out from under me. And the third group have this, well, I've got it all, but I don't really deserve it. I can't really enjoy it, you know? I feel guilty for having so much when other people have so less. I feel bad that I got this and I didn't even work for it. And then they go into self-destructiveness. You can be the first group, because having it all is amazing, but only if you can also enjoy it, share it, feel good about it, and know you are worth it. You can have it, you can enjoy every minute of it, you can make sure other people get to benefit from your abundance too. Feel great about it, share it be amazing. If you want to have an abundant life, not sometimes, all the time, just go ahead and download my abundance package and you can have an abundant life all the time and even show the people around you that matter so much to you that they can have it too. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.